Here it is. Bop. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Bye, 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 bye. We have a legend for you today. Oh, we got a we got a people for Listen, you. a people. He's not even a person. He's not he's a, a person. People. He's a people. He's not even a person. He's a people. <laughs> uh, we have a, 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 a legend who has done things for other legends. Oh, yes. The legend of the legends is yes. here today. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I don't know who you want me to name. Uh, 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 Destiny Child, uh, Beyonce, yeah, yeah, yeah. Monica, Brandy, Brandy, Michael Brandy. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Need I go on? <laughs> Janet Jackson, Justin Bieber, who else? You the TLC, Aaliyah, Lady Gaga. Uh, I I, I don't know Tony what else. Tony Braxton. Come on, Sizzle. if they matter, if they matter, if they matter, okay, we all matter. <laughs> I Listen, don't know about that. We all the same color when the lights go off. I was just joking. Um, <laughs> we all black at night. No, but <laughs> listen, uh, the music that this brother has made has been not just legendary, but it has impacted the industry in many different seasons of music. Yeah, 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 yeah. From the a lot of the music that I grew up on and the music that we still have today yeah. is music that this man has produced. Yes, Listen, yes, yes. when we get to heaven, I when we walk in, I believe that the track that's gonna be playing at the banquet is a track that my brothers produce. <laughs> I, gonna be the Lord stop. is gonna be like, there's a studio. Oh my people say stop. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord is gonna be like, there's a studio and we need to we need to bang this out. Yeah. Um, but I am so glad to welcome our guest, <laughs> Rodney Jerkins. Y'all might know him as Dark Child. We know him as a brother in the Lord. You know as saying? a servant of Jesus you know Christ. I mean? And everybody give <laughs> round of applause. Oh, round of applause, applause right my brother. Oh, welcome man. to the show, broski. <laughs> Thank you, man. Welcome Thank to the show. You. Yes. Well, brother, I have so many, <laughs> so many questions. Let us just start uh, from the beginning. I can, well, this is probably not the beginning. This is the beginning as I know it, okay? okay? So in the 90s, by God's grace, you decided um, to just have a chokehold on the entire industry that has persisted to this current day. Uh, but you've always had your hands in two pots, right? So the highest level, I believe you won producer of the year, um, you have you you hold several Grammys, but one of your Grammys is for producer of well, the year. No, not producer of the year. I produced of the year a couple of times in different countries. Ah, mm -hmm. okay, 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 okay. I won the mobile mobile, which is a, a like the Grammys in the UK, think back to back years. Beautiful, beautiful, you know? beautiful. But yeah, I mean several Grammys, but um, yeah, yeah, for sure. But it's not yeah. much higher. Actually, there isn't anywhere else to go above the Grammys. I mean that that's the height of 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 awardship um and then there's other countries that have grammy like like the brit the, the the british awards and stuff but you've also had some of the most lasting timeless gospel joints that Revol we still Revol sing to revolution Kurt yes uh-huh yeah. i remember the the dark child verse on you do on, oh on, on, yeah on stomp <laughs> yeah bro i remember yeah. uh it coming on bet mm -hmm. and Wrapping the entire part in front of the the TV in my okay. socks, nice and underwear. I, you can edit the underwear out. Okay? <laughs> what has that been like, having such high impact in both of these worlds, right, on the highest level? What has that been like? How has God sort of led you in that? And I'm certain there's been pushback. I used to think I used to think that it meant a lot. Yeah. In my in my in my younger years and, and you know seeking out success, seeking out to be the best. Yeah. The the, the goal is platinum records. You know the goal mm -hmm. is number ones. The uh -huh. goal is the Grammys. Uh -huh. Right. Right. Um, but as I get older and I get wiser, I realize that 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 gate is narrow mm. and that pathway is narrow, and only what you do for Christ is going to last. Mm. So, unless it's like a worship song, then I don't think that, that heaven's going to play any of those joints <laughs> or any track created previously. No, yeah, no, yeah, I get yeah, you. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, it's not that I'm I'm I'm, I'm grateful for my um for my journey, right. sure. 
because it's going to be part of my testimony. Right. Yeah. Right. But um, you know, when you're doing things in in the in the secular realm, yeah, it's not to glorify God. Right. Mm. Even though you might be in the church, mm -hmm. I was. I, I remember like working on Brandy and going to church every Sunday, choir rehearsals on Wednesday, Tuesday, whatever. Right. Um, and thinking that like I really am, you know, mm -hmm. able to do Kirk mm -hmm. and do Brandy. Sure. Mm -hmm. Right. Sure. And from a from a gift perspective, I was right. Yeah. Put it like this: when it's all said and done, I don't think God is going to sit on the throne and say, "Wonderful job for say my name." Right. right. Wonderful right. job for boys' right. mind. Right. Right. I don't think that's going to be the thing, and I think we sometimes you know get too focused on earthly goals mm -hmm. and earthly possessions when the mm -hmm. ultimate goal and, and the ultimate prize is heaven. Mm -hmm. Love it. In so many moments, I let heaven down, and I'm just trying mm -hmm. to figure out. Now in my life, mm -hmm. you can't get time back. Right. But right. what you can do is press forward mm -hmm. and keep fighting for your life. Mm. You know, and so that's where that's just kind of where I'm at now. That's good. Yeah. Do, do you feel like there was a time where there was a transition between that those two goals, right? The the platinums, the number ones, the wanting to to be the best in the industry, and, and then that that time when it's like, you know what, man, what is what my focus really is is building the kingdom. I think you always. You know, the the struggle will always be fighting with flesh, mm -hmm. and um, and especially when you've experienced the success that I've experienced, right. and you get the calls that you get sometimes where it's like, you know, so and so want to get in the studio with you, so and so want to do this with you, whatever, and it's like, oh, that that could lead to another number one, or that could lead to a new house, or that could lead to so and so, right? And then like, you know, but I think. About a year, I want to say now it's been probably uh, about a, over a year. My father-in-law, who just went to heaven, mm -hmm. he we were in a home and, and and he we were in our house and he said um, that God was speaking to him and saying we need to have a weekly Bible study with the family. Mm -hmm. And in the in the in the in the moment when he said that, I didn't really understand it. Mm -hmm. But once we started having Bible studies. I feel like God was using him to speak to me to say, get your house in order. Mm -hmm. And we started having these weekly Bible studies with my family that would go from like probably 9 p.m. to like midnight, right? And um, that then kind of trickled another thing of, I want to have daily mm -hmm. Bible devotions with my kids. Just me, mm -hmm. just, just me and my four kids. Mm. And so we do that daily now. And so I, that's the transition. I think that's where it's like, and now what, what's happened is that, I'm, that I've been noticing in the last few months uh -huh. is that God is interrupting anything that comes my way that will, it's almost like, you know, when the Bible speaks of temptation and, and having a way out, yes. it's almost like if anything comes my way, that's not of God, mm -hmm. he interrupts it immediately to let me know I have this for you. Wow, 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 That's wow. Really and, good. And, and, and the, the, the greatest part of it is me being able to discern mm -hmm. and be able to see it in the moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. it just lets me know that the Holy Spirit is speaking to me and using me. Mm -hmm. So when things come, it's like God be like, that's that's like, you think the old you would have thought that's amazing. Right. But the new you and what I have for you is way far greater than what that was because there's kingdom purpose in it. And my wife and I always say like, when you invest, like you, some people, I don't know, you know, if you guys are into like stock market yes. or investing in different things, but my, my wife always, she says, there's no return like kingdom returns. Say that, That's bro. true. What, what you invest into the kingdom is far greater than anything that you would invest to in, in, their, in earth. Absolutely. And so I just been very like, these last few few months specifically, mm -hmm. there's been if 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 I may say I think it's it's becoming a new me, mm -hmm. and I'm still I'm working I'm yeah. I'm working every day I'm like a computer to refresh myself. Right? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. But I know the difference. Yeah. Um, I know God knows the difference, and that's right. all that really concerns me. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, and I like I told you, I'm pressing forward, man, just fighting this fight. Like, yeah, yeah it's like I, I know what I'm in. Yeah. That's powerful, Amen. bro. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let me ask you this. When you decided that you were going to, because at some point you were going 
more towards Christian music than you were towards mainstream music or, or secular music. Mm -hmm. What happened? Was there something that you saw or something that let you down or what was that transition where it all began? Because I'm assuming you didn't always think like this. You didn't always yeah. see, you know, this kingdom value over anything earthly, even though you've obviously been around the church for a long time. My father's a pastor. Yeah. And so I, I thank my mother and father for, for training up a child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, mm -hmm. that's, that's what I will say. Um, but like any hard-headed, disobedient child, you begin to go your way mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um i would say probably maybe maybe it has it's probably been three four years um i came to, to florida with my family and um i think my daughter and my son my oldest i got four kids two boys two girls but mm -hmm. i think my oldest my oldest son was probably like 12 and my daughter's like 11 mm -hmm. and it was just like i know the curiosity that goes into those pre-teenage years because yeah, oh, I, yeah. I was mm -hmm. him yep yeah yeah, yeah. right yep. and i know where i would sneak mm -hmm. secular music when it was forbidden in my home yeah, yeah, my dad yeah. and mom did not allow it yeah. mm -hmm. Same and here. so i'm thinking like okay we're about to get to that stage soon and my wife and i would have conversations about the music that we got to make sure like you know our kids listen to my son is 16 years old and he he's he doesn't have social media. He's on a flip phone. Mm. Like we very like don't want him to be exposed to what straight up. Yeah. Throw me the flip phone real quick. Give me flip phone. <laughs> Give me flip phone. I don't think I'm joking. Up. I, I, keep, I, I, I just so you know everything I say is factual. Yeah. Yeah. His best friend bought him this Let's by the way. Let's go, bro. His For your best friend to buy you bro, this. Bro, I think I yeah. had that phone. Shout out to Elijah. Shout, Shout out to Elijah. Elijah. Hey. Like, God bless Shout you, out to Elijah. Elijah. So listen, yes. for your best friend. For your best friend to gift you that mm -hmm. speaks volume of him knowing where you even need to be. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's a good right? Friend right, I think there. that's a good friend. Yeah. So, but I say that to say not to 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 embarrass him or put him on the spot because he knows we you know how we are. We were in a moment as a husband and our wife, like we want to make sure that our kids are being led in the right direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and I had just. I had just came off of producing SZA, yeah, right, mm -hmm. uh, and different people, and I'm like, man, I don't know if my kids should be listening to certain Ooh. things. And then, and then me, I gravitated towards hip hop as a as a kid, yeah, and so I knew that was going to be something they probably would enjoy or like. So how do I find something that's going to be clean, yeah. that's going to be godly for them to like? Yeah. Thank God we had a Christian hip-hop station nearby, yep. um, 95.9 Hot, that would yeah. play. Shout out shout to 95.9. Yes, 99. my guy, Tim over there. Yeah, shout out Tim. He's a good yes. friend of mine, too. Yes, yes, Tim Wolf. Tim Wolf, they would play Christian hip-hop, and we started playing it daily in the car, and they got used to it. And... They said, actually, my daughter and my son were here. They said, Dad, you should start a Christian hip hop label. And in the first moment when they said it, I was kind of like apprehensive, like, huh? You know, and, it, and I didn't realize that this is fully a full circle thing happening. Mm -hmm. Recently, uh, my father was sending me old footage to, to digitize. And I found footage of me at like 11, 12 years old rapping here. Rapping uh, in church. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I was looking at it, some of the things I was saying. I had did like a little, it was like before there were podcasts. Yeah. We had a little setup in my, my dad's basement and someone was interviewing me, asked me questions. Like my cousin. Word. My That's cousin. crazy. And I was like, I was literally like 14 then. Yeah, yeah. And and I was telling them like my style, what separates my style in hip hop. <laughs> gospel yeah because yeah. that's we call it gospel hip-hop what was separated from all the other gospel wait hip -hop hold on hold on when you were 11 12 years old yeah you were doing interviews in your basement yeah as a hip-hop as a gospel, gospel hip-hop artist, artist. Yeah. so like i was and i was saying on this in this footage i was saying like other gospel hip-hop artists were rapping like slow uh -huh. And me, I was on some miggity wiggity wiggity wiggity. I was uh -huh. on the fat. Like, yeah. and no one was doing that in, God, in, my, right, in, in my opinion. Right. No one was doing that. So I was trying to, like, so this is full circle. This isn't this something is really that's just like circle. this idea that this is just God saying, 
I'm going to take what you've learned, what you've known, and I'm going to bring it back full circle. And I'm going to help you with the next generation and leading them yeah. the right way. Yeah. And so shout out to my kids for just like, you know, kind of pushing that button. Yeah. And and then when we started the we started our, the record, God gave me the name Aliens Alive. You know, we I feel like Aliens Alive was the perfect name because I feel like we're alive in Christ and we're not of this world. So right. yeah, um, Aliens Alive is the name of the label. The label, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. yeah. And so we wanted to do something where it's just like I wanted to be super aggressive, mm-hmm. and I didn't want it to, and I didn't want it to be about going to Sony or Warner or Universal sure, sure, anybody. Right. I was like. Well, my wife always says kingdom return, like what you put in. So I was like, all right, if we in this, then we got to be in this. So let's do it ourselves. Right. And I want all the artists that we work with to not lose their independence. Come on. Mm-hmm. So we was, so any deals that we were doing with artists were like, you still own your, they were looking at us, what? You still own your masters. Like our, even our attorney was like, my attorney was like, you maybe shouldn't, you shouldn't do that. Like, uh, uh, and I was like, too much kingdom, brother. Yeah. <laughs> 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 too much, too much and, and I said, I said, nah, because I got, I have to do it this way because I don't just want to have a label that's just another label, right? But I also want to see like the the industry and where artists feel like something's wrong, right? And if there's something wrong, maybe God can use me to help fix yeah, it, and do, or at least help yeah. direct it in a different a different way, right? And so that's been kind of the mission and the goal is just being like little things to try to help the space as a whole yeah not as a oh you have this label over here so i'm competing with you no let's we that's not to me kingdom yes yeah. right so it's more so like how do we work together to figure out how to make things better, better. as a whole yes. yeah i love yes. that bro so that's where i'm at man like yes. that's just, a kingdom uh, approach man right there yeah i yeah. love hearing that yes that's ill bro now yeah. uh you have already scooped up some of my favorite artists Thank you. that are Thank in Christian hip hop. Talk Thank us a little you. bit about the artists who are helping to build this effort, or is it yeah. too soon? No, we could talk about yeah. it. Um, you know, it started. At, um, I I am rescued was the first person I signed. He's over from 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 Africa, um, yeah. and he was doing Christian hip hop more, but he's kind of moving into like this almost like this indie space, nice um, sonically, um, and. I had went to a show early on and, and I saw I saw this concert it was it was it was in Orlando. It was like fifty people in the room and it was like Caleb Gordon, um, Kenny Rivers, T J Carroll, uh, um, and Alex Jean. Yeah. They all came to my house after the concert. And my approach was like not trying to sign them. My yeah, approach sure, sure. was like, yo, I want to mentor anytime you need, just call me if you need anything, right. like any advice. And TJ would call me constantly. Mm. And um, Alex Jean would call me constantly. I love it. Caleb would call me constantly. Yo, like just asking me things or coming to the studio. And so I kind of just started mentoring people. Yeah. Um, I remember, um, you know, the, the, the industry would say not to sign Gavi. Mm. Okay. Um, and I prayed about it and I, pr- I prayed with Gavi. Uh, before there was ever a, a, a any type of, mm-hmm. hey, let's do a deal. Sure, right, sure. right. Like me and God, God, we was my intern. Uh, like Lecrae sent him to be an intern yes. for me in 2010 oh, and 11. Yeah. G Styles. Yes. That's it, when he was G Styles. That's when Raymond yeah, Soul. That's like the yeah. Raymond yes. Soul G Styles. Wait, yeah. That was in LA, right? With yes. This, yes. Yes. Wow. Yeah. I forgot all about when he was G Styles. So, so I, and, and, and you know, and this is one thing that I could not understand. Here I am probably far more wicked than any of these people trying to get my life straight. Uh, mm. And yet I'm seeing the internal judgment mm. on a person who's supposed to be a brother in Christ. Uh, mm. uh, so I was confused in that sure. moment. I had got real confused because I didn't know what I was coming into. Sure, yeah, right, and right. everybody was saying, no, 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 no. But yet I'm like, hold on. If I'm a Christian and if I proclaim the name of Christ, one thing that's consistent throughout his word is forgiveness. Sure. So we going to pray like yeah, yeah. brothers should do. Yeah, right. yeah. And hopefully the path, whatever path, whatever happened, yeah. whatever you were on, that God 
helps you, delivers sure, sure, you sure, from, sure. That. from that. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And that you're able to seek him out and be fully committed yeah, yeah, to yeah. that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and so I end up signing Gavi. Uh-huh. So now I had, I didn't have Alex Jean yet, but I had Iron Rescue, mm-hmm. TJ, yep. and Gavi. Uh, yeah. And then and then from and then from there came um um John Keith and Alex. Yeah. Keith. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And then I just signed a project with I don't know what's supposed to air. I'm not supposed to say this. Oh, you might got the exclusive. exclusive. You might got the exclusive. <laughs> what is this airing, by the way? What is, probably like a couple weeks. Okay, all right. And and then there's, you know, and, I, and I'm working on something huge right now that I can't speak about okay. uh, with another artist that I've been like really, you know, talking to a lot. So yeah. hopefully God willing that'll come to pass as well. Man, it's yeah. amazing, bro. Yeah. Talk to us uh, about family a little bit. So um, I, it's been super encouraging seeing the way that you father Amen. i think that's one of the the areas there's a few people in my life and you're one of them who i just wish that the world could see or hear their wisdom and their approach to just being dads uh but a good dad is often a good husband mm. so start me with your marriage bro so you've been married for a while yeah i've been married for 24 years 24 Man, years I yeah um, in a in a world in a culture in an industry that is hostile towards marriage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How did you do that? Um, I can't tell you. I can't tell you. My all my twenty four years was the greatest years. I can't. You know. Um, I probably will say there was moments that I wasn't the best husband. Yeah. And um, and but I know what I know. I I have is I have a godly wife. Mm-hmm. I have a spiritual wife. I know I had somebody who. I can look to the other side and see her in her word. Yeah. And, you know, and that when you have that type of backbone in your home, it helps you in your own home. Right. Yeah. 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 And, you know, and one thing we just been committed with we, with each other is making sure that our marriage is set in, in the firm foundation of Christ and his word. Yeah. Yeah. And making sure that our kids like really our kids Coming up in it is so important to us. Yeah, yeah, straight up. Yeah, Just yeah, yeah. because we both experience secular at the highest level. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? Right. As a producer, songwriter, her as an artist, we both experienced it. Yeah. So we know how wicked and treacherous and demonic it yeah. is. Yeah. Right? And so we just pray that our kids, you know, we always tell them, hey, when they're 18, you far away, you know, y'all pretty much, you know, gonna do what y'all wanna do. But Hopefully that these these teachings, these lessons mm-hmm. will grow you spiritually enough to where you have a little bit more, uh, let's say, oomph than I may have had uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. in Absolutely. God. Just yeah. a little bit more to know, yeah. like, nah, I can't, I can't mess with that. I can't do that. Right. Yeah. You know, right. Right. so we, 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 we work hard to make sure that our marriage is speaking volume sure. to to our family. Yeah. yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. starts with the marriage. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. and then and then everything else should fall into place if that's if that's working properly. It doesn't mean you won't have uh battles with your children as they grow right. up and as they, you know, in these last days keep get more disobedient. Right. <laughs> right? But hopefully again the training is the key. Yeah. If you train them up, you you know, the word is the word. If you train them up in the way they should go, then they're not going to depart. They'll come back. Like so we just we've been very intentional on making sure that that foundation is set in our home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. L- let me ask you this too. Um, so I, I see the, the the connection between God has always been sort of a factor in your in your life. I mean, that's crazy that you were a child. Right. You know, basically dressing up or preparing yourself to be a Christian hip hop artist or gospel artist. I would not have known that. Um, and then as you've went through career, you've- Y'all heard of Dawkins and Dawkins? Who? Dawkins and Dawkins? I haven't. No. I see y'all young. Yeah, so Fred Hammond from Commission, mm-hmm. he used to have a label called Face to Face. Okay. And Eric Dawkins, who is like, uh, if you look him up, he's like, he was with the the crew of underdogs back in the day, like big time producer, like a lot of people, Mary Mary, just look okay. work. He, yeah. he worked with a lot of people. 
I was I was in Detroit, Michigan, rapping on Dawkins and Dawkins' first oh, first gospel project when I was fourteen years old. Wow. That's how I met Fred Hammond at fourteen years old. That's what led to the road of the Kirk Franklins and the uh-huh. John P. Key. Actually, you know, never forget called me out the audience when I was like thirteen years old and put a hundred dollars in my hand and said, God is going to use your gift. And didn't even know me from a can of paint. Wow. And then I went to go sit down and he said, I'm going to give you double because he really wants to do something special on you. <laughs> and, and, and I still talk to John to this yeah, day because like, he imparted, you know, that into me. Right. But yeah, so it, it goes back. That's bro. wild. That it, goes, it goes back to the point where I've experienced rapping in church and seeing like people walk out meaning like maybe some of the older folk mm-hmm. who didn't understand sure, yeah, rap yeah, and yeah, hip hop right. uh-huh. and they would walk out to church while I was rapping because they thought it was too contemporary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. In, before the world knew you as Dark Child, you were already dark. Were, were you called Dark Child too? No, nah, that kind of happened. No, nah, uh-huh. nah, that, that wasn't, I was, I was just, I was, you know, to some people, I was just Rodney, Rodney rapping Rodney, like Rodney, whatever it was. Rodney, they just call him whatever. But right. Dark Child came later on when I was like looking for a production right. name. And right. I, 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 I kind of like sometimes egotistically will say that I created the tag, the producer tag. Uh, like, because I'll be like, man, I was tagging stuff before anybody was tagging stuff. But, but there was, I, there was, I mean, there was but other people, though. there was other people this tagging This man created things. the producer tag. Nah, 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 there was other people tagging, but you know, the like, first producer tag but yeah, so it came later on. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So as a, you, you just, you, it feels like you just have a lot of perspective then. You got perspective yeah. being, I mean, even before Christian hip hop was, was kind of fully cemented as mm-hmm. something. Yeah, you you are already active in this. You have a lot of experience in the gospel world. Um, now you're, and then the highest level in mainstream. But you, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, it sounds like when you were at the height of your heights in mainstream, that felt like a departure from what you really feel like God has called you to do. Is that, yeah. is that fair? Yeah. And then the Lord has brought you back in to some degree. Yeah. And... Now, and I mean, in the last several years, a lot of folks don't know this, but this brother has been laying solid foundation, connection, opportunity mm-hmm. for our movement in ways that I have, I have, it's been rare. In fact, one of my complaints about Christian hip hop throughout the years has been that there hasn't been enough stakeholders. That, Absolutely. That when, when, when folks do start to do well here, they uh they they often kind of form their own uh, you know agenda around their own success but it doesn't trickle down to yeah. the folks that are behind them yeah. and it's uh, not actually building out an industry that's right it's right be. it's like yeah. somebody makes it out of the bucket yep. mm. and then no There's one says no we're concern. gonna we're gonna build an industry out yeah, for yeah, yeah. The, correct, yeah. it's part of why mm-hmm. Kendrick the the Kendrick Lamar to pimp a butterfly that analogy was so powerful that Oftentimes, once the, the caterpillar, which came, I mean, the caterpillar turns into a butterfly. And though the butterfly was just with us as caterpillars a, a week or two ago, now they have access and, and beauty and admiration. Yeah. And then that's when the pimps come in to make mm. sure that the butterflies are never, ever doing anything to help caterpillars. Yep. That's right. That's right. And, um, we, them become other we need butterflies that are obsessed with the life of the caterpillars. Amen. That's right. Amen. And, um, and in some ways, it feels like that's what God is doing. And it's in for, for in people who are as legendary as Rodney. But I'm also seeing that in this world of, of, of Christians with resources. Just mm, Christians with yes. a whole bunch of money. Yeah. But like, what can we do to help influence and empower what is happening in Christian I hip-hop? I literally just got a, a call with, a, with a, a guy that I do business with. And he just told me that a friend... Uh, called him and said they had like a 11 billionaires that wants to focus on Christian music, film, TV, etc. Mm. to basically Christian billionaires. I love it. To focus on this yeah. because they're tired of what media is right. doing. Right. Yes. And I was just like, wow. It's just like, it, it. you know, listen, at the end of the day, you do need the resources to be able to do the things that you do. Mm-hmm. Um but I, I don't think that's the focus. I think that the resources, I think like God has people for people. Sure, right, sure, sure. Right, yeah. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. at the end of the day, like they're like you said, like the, the caterpillar, like he just has people for people. Yeah. And 
when the mission, when the when the appointed mission is focused on the will of God. Yeah, 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 yeah. The resources is going to come yeah. from the source. Yeah, 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 for mm -hmm. sure. It's going to come. God yeah. is. I, I see. I see it no other way than God saying. You like again. I I go back to myself because I know He's been speaking to you. Have no idea what I can do for mm, you. Right. It's right. not me. Right? right. He may use me to help other people, but ultimately, it go the glory goes back to God because. He said, I will do something in your days that you would not believe even if you were told. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what he said in scripture. Oh, I yeah. believe it, bro. Yeah. Right? So we have to just be prepared right. yeah. and, and, and ready to be used by him. Yes. yes. Because we know, one thing I do know is this, something is happening. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's one thing I will tell something you. Something is happening. I that agree. Something is happening. Yes. I agree. And you 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 brought up Kendrick, right? So for Kendrick to mention Lecrae and D1, something has happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Kendrick's not the end all be all. So right, let's not get sure. too excited. Right. But something's happening. Absolutely. Something's happening. Folks are paying attention. They're paying attention. That's yeah. all I keep telling. I've been KB, they are paying attention. Yeah. In all walks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yeah. And we just got to make sure that we stay united. Right? Because the one thing that I'm learning is that there's things in the Christian hip hop space that I really don't like. Mm, that's exactly where I was going with my question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was set, it took me too long to set it up. But uh, please talk uh, to us about that. Art, can I give you a couple of examples? Yeah. As you mentioned, and I don't like really talking too much about the former versus the the where God is taking you. But when I look at, for example, Brandy and Monica, mm -hmm. oh, which man. was my first number one, the boy's mind, right? Mm -hmm. Those are two egos that were able to get on the same record and make it happen uh. mm -hmm. for the sake of whatever they were doing. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So why is it that us as Christians yeah. in a Christian hip hop genre? When we're trying to put two artists together to make something happen, it becomes this, well, I can't clear this, or yeah, yeah, yeah. because this happened, I can't do this. And that, yeah. and it's just like, whoa, wait, whoa, yes. wait a minute. Yes. And that's the part that becomes hurting mm. to to artists. But for me, it becomes like, wait, what are we here for now? What are we yeah, bro? Yeah, what is this really about? Like, on, really, sir? like, well, like, like, seriously, like, we need to really like. And and I think the reason why, and maybe you know this, because I'm new to this and you've been around, but since us coming into this, what I haven't seen, I haven't seen a collective. I haven't seen where we got together as as Christians, as a genre, as an industry, and come together and let's all pray together and talk some of the things out that need yeah. to be talked about yeah, 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 yeah. to make it better. Yes. Right. Where when I was coming up, we had impact convention and all these yeah, different yeah, yeah, conferences. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of all, you know, people will say that was networking. No, it was how you voice certain things to make things better. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I feel like maybe like that's something that needs to happen in this industry as well, where people get together and let's talk about just the whys. Why, do, why does this take place when it shouldn't as Christian? Forget everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forget the music. For right. Forget right. the song. Forget the beats. Forget all of that. As Christians, right. yes, right. Just start there. Right. What is not? It's not about what's going to be pleasing to you as an artist, or to me as a producer, or you as a or as a as an owner of your company. What's, what's it's going to be? What's pleasing to God? Absolutely. When it's all, when it's all said and done. Yeah. What's pleasing to God? So. I'm paying attention, but I'm also praying that God will use myself and others to come together to talk about certain things yeah. to help make some of the things that's wrong right. Absolutely. I could not agree more. And I think... And there's many things yeah. that are wrong, right? But that's the way it is in any industry. Mm -hmm. Sure. Right, right, right. Right? Yeah. But the difference is, is like, we all supposed to be serving God right. and His purpose. So... At the root of it all, at the found, very foundation of it all, yeah. it should all go back to what he says yes, yes, and yes. not what we say. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's all. I mean, 100%. that's, bro, I've been, I've been trying to, 
I've been uh, basically sounding this alarm for a long time that that the idea for us is to be more Christian than we are anything else. Yeah. That it would be victorious if at the end of the day we erred on the side of kingdom commitment than in industry advancement. Right. So like right. I'm not just asking who is most popular, you know, or 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 who who seems to have the greatest buzz or or uh I'm not only doing things because I make money immediately. You know what I'm saying? Like there there has I was in, in or actually in Orlando at this uh this event with all of the 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 heads of Christian radio that never play Christian hip hop. Mm. Um and uh and I and I went and spoke at this thing and I at the end of my message uh gave this this activation about if you have never considered doing things because it makes kingdom sense, even though it doesn't necessarily make financial sense, you have not been doing ministry. Mm. I don't know. I mean, nothing right. wrong with doing your radio station and doing your, your outreach business thing. I mean, there's absolutely nothing wrong mm. with that. But if you're going to call this ministry. Yeah, you got to do ministry. Then it's got to be ministry, <laughs> which there's other considerations right. outside of money. That doesn't mean we don't ever consider money. Right. But if our bank account only shows, our transactions only show that we serve people that give us money, then stop calling it ministry. Yeah, it's this business. is business. radio with a Christian with thing. Christian veneer on it. But if 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 we're coming together at, at boardroom meetings and, and label meetings and we're praying and 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 we're we're asking ourselves what would the Bible have us do as a as a label? Then it's more than just the content of the music that you're playing. Right. It's the kind of people. Are you signing disciples? I am a stickler for talent. Talent matters because God gives talent, mm -hmm. so I'm right to look for it. Right. Mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. We're not saying talent. Sister the Sister Shelby has a great heart, even though she cannot sing at right, all. So go right. ahead. And but just... it's about the kingdom. Right. Right. No, maybe God isn't calling Sister Shelby to sing this, yeah. on, on our label. That's right. Talent does matter, but character also matters. Yeah. Integrity. Integrity matters. And the, 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 if you have a talented person with zero integrity, then that equation is a spiritual bank, is a recipe for spirit, spiritual bankruptcy, yeah. right. which is ruining and tanking the witness of the kingdom. Yeah. yeah. If, if by your kind of great music, you are getting people excited about Jesus, but then in the way that you treat people or label execs, the way that you hand out deals to your artists. Mm. I, had a, I had a massive artist whose name I will not say. And I won't even start giving y'all hints because you'll know who it is. <laughs> this dude told me that he had his non-Christian lawyer read the contract that oh. he had signed that underneath that contract, he had written some of the biggest songs in Christian music. And he said that his non-Christian uh, lawyer read that contract and said, hmm, this is why I'll never walk with Jesus. I see worse, the worst contracts. Exploitation. From Christians. They're not even as bad in the world. Yeah. So, and, and whether or not that anecdote actually applies across the board, right. probably does. it's still present. It's still a present reality right. that too many does. people can probably does. Yeah. So we want to be kingdom minded in how we sign people, mm -hmm. who we sign, and the impact that we are basically uh, going after as we talk about how we allocate our resources. So I've, right. I'm, I think this serious commitment to discipleship that precedes our serious commitment to our art. Mm -hmm. it, it, it qualifies my commitment to my art. Mm -hmm. Is something that we must get back to. And the I encouraging agree. thing is, I think that people, I think I, folks are getting back I to it. I think so too. People, I was just telling some dudes the other day that the, this, this, this young group, I have the cats from that generation, the, the, the Gen Zer, um, who is in Christian music, calling, asking, 
questions about the Bible and about faithfulness and about their churches and about their music. Mm. There, there are two artists. I, I don't want to say their names. They're, 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 they're mass, they, they blew up on TikTok. They're massive artists. Mm -hmm. And uh, we met with uh, this uh, group of two. We met with one of the brothers in Nashville. They said, hey, me and my brother would love to just do a Zoom call with you. And I'm like, oh, of course. I mean, what, what are we doing? What are we talking about? I mean, I can't. I mean, y'all, I've, I've been doing this. I've been yeah. doing this three times as long as y'all have, and y'all are three times bigger than me. I don't know what I'm, I'm going to help you with your music career. Mm. So we don't care about that. We just want to love Jesus. Yeah. It was very shocking. I, I'm sorry. It was very encouraging. So we, wow. we did a Zoom call for an hour, dog, just yeah. talking about what it means to be faithful as a young man. Wow. It's like the psalmist said, how does a young man keep his way pure? Mm. By guarding it according to the word of God. Mm. That's what we talked about for an hour. Mm. These dudes want it. Yeah, These cool. young ladies yeah. are serious. Yeah. And that to me gives me it gives it gives hope. Yeah. And to what you're saying, I would love, bro, maybe this could be even the start of it. If there's a, a gathering in Orlando, we could probably but between your organization, the Lift Lift uh student leadership is in, in mm -hmm. Orlando, yep. we could probably have a Universal Studios weekend where we all yeah. come together. Yeah. We we invite everyone. We Absolutely. could probably get the whole thing sponsored. Yeah. And let's come together. And let first let's just pray. I don't want to. We ain't strategizing. Right. We 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 ain't talking about who can do. We just gonna spend time in the presence of God I together as a movement. I love that. Yeah. We I should facilitate that. that, bro. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I love that. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, that absolutely should be the case. Yeah, bro. And, and there's definitely the resources to be able to have it because it is needed. Yes. It is needed. I was gonna say this too. That observation you had about thinking about your, your children and what they're listening to is a common, it feels like a lot of people are thinking like that now. Mm -hmm. I was just talking about my, our friends for King and Country. They were in Amelie, sold out last night on a Monday, Monday night. Monday night, yeah. Talk to me nice. Uh, but I was, I, was talking about, I was talking to Rodney about how kingdom-minded for King and Country is. Right. Years ago, mm -hmm. I still don't have a large following, but I had a much smaller following uh, years ago and in my in the music industry whenever you tour with the artists you typically um, the artist falls into a, a one of two slots there's your opener mm -hmm. there and then there's direct support and then they may feel some artists in the middle between the opener and the the the, the direct support artist but you're not co-headlining co-headlining means Everyone is equally coming here to see both of us. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. we are equally present on the flyer. Right, mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're equally pre present in all the ads. Yeah, yeah. So what artists will uh, do, depending on the size of their ego, there was a big kind of spat between Ice Spice and someone who she said was her best friend. Uh, that was that was uh, that was viral when they were talking about Ice Spice was reflecting on how she thought about the girl being a part of the tour, yeah. and she was reflecting on how the, the 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 girl who was a part of the tour was reflecting on how she believe she should have been treated mm -hmm. as your best friend right mm -hmm. and then ice spice was talking about it t typically in terms of you're the opener you don't matter that's a that's essentially that's like how the world works right the kingdom shouldn't work that way right. i don't think mm -hmm. even if you are opening that no point on this tour should you feel like you don't matter yeah. we don't care if you eat we don't care about about where you're you traveling you get around if your crew uh we, no one no one's concerned about how y'all doing spiritually mentally physically I have experienced both kingdom expressions mm. of taking the young guy, Tenth uh -huh. Avenue North, another group that that, mm. that brought me in, and I had nothing in my hands to bring to their tour, but they treated me as if I was direct support. Mm. And then for King and Country, these brothers, yeah, they did a tour after we we had did a, a tour together on Winter Jam, and when they did a tour after that, they asked me to come be a part of it. And I'm assuming these people are gonna have my name written in. The corner of the flyer <laughs> and pin and, and, and pin or a pencil so you can erase it off if you want them there or not. Um, two, just two quick stories about them. First of all, these brothers, not only did they have me become a part, be a part of their 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 set, so like their their tour, I mean, they put me as big on the flyer as they were. This is little KB from the South Side. Nobody knows who I am, especially not their audience. They put me big. Right, come see us. As if I was helping to sell tickets. They incorporated me, not only in my own set, but they had me go through, we were like a, for, it was like a for King Country KB show, where it was infused with hip hop and, and, and preaching and 
spoken word along mm. with what they were doing. This is unprecedented. Yeah. One night, mm. and he, they would never want me to tell this story, but I'm going to tell it. They, first of all, they were taking good care of me financially while I was there. Yeah. End of tour, brother David Smallbone is their manager. Who uh, that the movie that just came out with Unsung Heroes, the mm -hmm. dad mm -hmm. was played by Joel in in the movie. He came with me in the green room, said, "Hey man, we've loved you being a part of this. Thank you so much for for loving my boys." Here, he gave me a stack of like a hundred dollar bills. Though. I was like three grand in there, bro. Mm -hmm. And said. Take your wife on vacation. That's all I want. Just take your wife on vacation. This is aside from them already, already taking care of me. You, yeah. And I'm not saying that that's what everyone needs to do. I'm yeah. just saying they are generous not just in mm -hmm. their message about mm -hmm. the gospel. Mm -hmm. They're generous in their dealings behind closed doors. Yeah. Which is I, what matters. Which is what matters the most. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yes. yes. These are who these people have, have been to me. Yeah. You could tell, too. Mm. When you're around him, yeah, I tell. met them for the first time, and I could tell just mm -hmm. when I met them that they're different. Yeah, bro. Mm. We kept on saying, "Don't they're different? They're different." Yeah, and I believe that God loves to bless that. He loves to flourish that. Mm -hmm. And if Christian hip hop is to have the kind of impact that we know it can have, we gotta be that. What we do has been such a powerful mover and shaker in the world, bro. And nobody knows about it. Right. It's been this underground movement. Come to some of our tour stops and we're outselling people who have the, the, the force of the beast behind them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How is this happening? Yeah. It's this unsung, unrecognized, but powerful thing. And I believe that something is happening as well, doctor. It is. Something is happening. It is. And if we're to steward it well, I think the stuff that you're talking about, we need to insist upon. Yeah. That we are, we're the kingdom in our music, but we're also the kingdom yeah. in our dealings with one another. We use, in fact, if I had more time at the Doves to mm -hmm. share, I shared a little bit more afterwards because mm -hmm. I had this whole thing that I wanted to say to Christian hip hop while mm -hmm. I was up there. I only got to say, a piece of it. Mm -hmm. But a part of what I want to talk about was if you are not seriously considering mm. how what you do might open the door for others, then don't then what be you, complaining what that we ain't doing? going nowhere. What are we doing, bro? What are we doing? What are we doing, bro? Yeah. If you're just constantly thinking, and I've done this before, if I put you on this song, people might like you more than me and stop listening to me and start listening to you. That is ungodly, dog. Mm -hmm. So what they think he's better. Mm. The kingdom is moving forward. Right. That's right. That's right. And I and I and I'm, I'm I feel like that's what we need to bake into this moment is remember your kingdom commitment. Yeah. Right. Right. That yeah. as long as Jesus is being glorified, as long as there are more opportunities, even if it means less money or less opportunity for myself, we won. Right. Because the kingdom's moving forward. That's right. Right. Oh, and I think that's and, what. We're and we have ahead. a responsibility. Mm -hmm. Straight up, as as Christians and as leaders in this space, yeah, we have a responsibility to push it forward. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. We have that. Not on. It ain't on just everybody. We have it especially. Not on just everybody. True. Sure. Right. Very true. But when Jesus spoke to his disciples, he said, "Go do amazing." He said, "Go even do more amazing." Yes. Yeah. Greater things. He has yeah. showed them. He had literally showed him all the amazing things that he was doing along the journey. Right. Yeah. He was pretty much like, look how I healed this woman right. with the blood issue. Right. Look how did that. He was showing all these amazing things. And then he sat her down like, now you go do amazing things. And that's why years later, we worship him, almighty God, because years later, it's still carrying on yeah. all around the world. Yeah. Love it. Right. Yeah. But we have amazing things that we still can be doing. Let's go, bro. True. Let's go, bro. It ain't it ain't done just because there's a couple artists signed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. right, and it, you know, I always say there's not enough movies. That yeah, was the next thing. Yeah, like, yeah. okay, we we're getting we're getting there with the music. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm happy. I got my kids can have some, yeah. but now I need them to watch more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, I don't yeah. need them to feel them like the I don't feel like they. I don't like you know. The other day came home and they were watching um this Angela G. What's her name? Angelina Jolie movie called Salt. Oh, I would yeah. prefer if they were watching Salt of the Earth. Like, ah. <laughs> like we have to, we have to like start making more product, right? Yeah. For the for our youth to be able to gravitate yeah, towards, yeah, 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 yeah. not just make it just because. Right. But notice, I say gravitate, gravitate towards, yeah. meaning what? 
it's cool enough for them to want to go towards it. Yes. Because that's the issue. Yes. The more the issue is like, how's it going to resonate? Right. How's right. it going to resonate with my 10-year-old? How's it going to resonate with my 13, my 14, my 15, my 16, my 18, my 21-year-old? How's it going to resonate? Well, the reason why they love your merch, because it resonates. Uh, mm -hmm. Straight up. Why you, my, my kids always say, KB got the hottest merch line, Dad. Well, it resonated. I love right, it. Right. And, yeah. what, and when it resonates, it makes them gravitate towards I it. I love right? it. Right? Because it's good enough. Right. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. That's yes, all sir. I'm saying. So Absolutely. when I watch TV or movie and all yeah. that, I'm like, man, we're missing something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's True. not that no no offense to the ones that are actually creating things. Because um, like uh, that movie that came out recently. Uh, Sound of Freedom. Sound of Freedom is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Right? It shows you that there's stuff that can be made at the highest level. Highest level. When I went to the to the uh, King Country concert last yeah. night, it showed me that concerts could be at the highest, the level. highest level. So yeah. now it's just more so like we have to do it. Right. That's all. Right. And that and that's my point even in the music, right? So Straight up. all I'm here to make sure is that the quality of the music is starting to get as good as possible to inspire others. Amen. I love it. Amen. Yeah. To want to make it better. Right. I love so if it. they see and they hear like, oh, yeah, it sounds great. We need to, what are they using or what are they doing? Or Who's the mixer? Da, 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 da. That way, we shouldn't be thinking about us. And I'm speaking about aliens alive. Mm -hmm. I'm, we're, we should be thinking about the whole yeah. genre. I love it. The I whole body it. of Christ. Yeah, 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 Even yeah. From, the, from the gospel genre. Right. Yep. It right. should bleed into all of that space. Yeah, yes. true. To where they like, yo, we need to step everything up. The visuals, the music, the clothing lines, the movies, the film, the commercials. Everything, everything should be at the highest level. I love yeah. it. I love it. 100%. I love it. That's Amen. beautiful, man. This Amen. has been amazing. Thank man, you so thank much you. for blessing yeah. us. Thank you, yes, man. man. Thank, thank you for having you. me. Your insight, your presence. Thank you, man. And may God continue to add to the tribe, bro. Continue thank to you. bless your efforts. Thank you. And keep you strong as you are a witness, bro. Thank um, you, man. I appreciate it. Look up to you, brother. I appreciate you, And we're man. praying for you, and we are looking to partner as much as we yes, possibly man. can. Yes, man. I thank yeah. you, man. Yes, I appreciate sir. Yes, sir. Yes. This has been Southside Rabbi. My name is KB. I mean the dream. Peace. Yeah.